I'm John. I'm Ian. We're in Billy Talent, and you're watching Hardcore Sounds TV. Okay, so hello everyone. We are here in Ruisrock in Turku, Finland, with the two guys from Billy Talent. Hello, how's it going for you guys at the moment? Great. We just uh, arrived, and there's a lot of good bands playing today, so excited to see a few of them. Which band, to be exact? Uh, Rise Against, Baroness, uh, uh, No Effects, um, Can't Heat. Gotta check out Ozzy, too, if you're here. Ozzy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you usually check bands when you're on playing different festivals? Yeah, yeah. that's uh, one of the best things about playing the festivals, is okay. that you can see bands that you might not normally get a chance to see. Uh, well, how has the summer been for you guys generally so far? It's been a pretty good summer. Um, we had a little bit of time off, uh, and then we, we've been over in Europe doing a lot of festivals and some of our own shows. Uh, you know, it's, it was we were. It's nice to come over to Europe, and the World Cup has been on, so everybody's kind of like really into that. So we've been watching games with. We were in the Netherlands. We got to watch one of the Dutch games in. Uh, with all the people there, you know, in, in the square. So it's been fun. It's a good summer. Follow some sports yourself. Just, well, for me, just hockey. Okay. Oh, but uh, when the World Cup is on, of course, I'll, yeah. I'll watch that. Do you have a favorite team? Toronto Maple Leafs. But in, in World Cup? Oh, in the World Cup? Yeah. I was cheering for Germany because um, I had some German friends okay. and was kind of cheering for them. I don't have a team to cheer for because there's Canada stinks yeah. at yeah. football. Uh, let's discuss a little bit about the European festivals in general. Which are your personal favorite ones? Um, Hurricane and Southside uh, in Germany have uh, always been some of the my best memories and funnest shows. They always have a really good lineup, uh, and we've gradually worked our way to the point where this year we headlined it. So that's kind of exciting. Yeah, like a uh, Rock and Ring, Rock and Park, and uh, Download Festival is a pretty good festival too. In England, uh, you guys have been around for 17 years now, and you ha- haven't had like a, lo- a single lineup change during that time. Uh, what do you see as the main reason for that? It's mainly just uh, we all, you know, wanted to do this for professionally for a living, and and uh, if everyone's focused on that, then it's you know it's it's good for a band to succeed. Because uh, some people just you know want to play in a band for hobbies. Some people just want to play in a band for you know different fame or different reasons like that. But I think we all just really love music and and uh, we wanted to do this for a living. So, so did you all had like the, the same like idea to become like a worldwide known band in the beginning already? That that was like the only thing you wanted to do basically. No, not right in the beginning. I think at the in the beginning we just started playing to play in front of our friends and because we love playing musical instruments and that. And then after a couple of years, we realized that you know, a lot of people would come to our shows, so why not be able to do this for a living? And we kind of did everything ourselves. So, uh, do you know the TV series Big Brother? Yes. Uh, if you could be in the house with three other musicians, who would you pick? In Big Brother? Yeah. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Mike, Mick Jagger, and Les Claypool. Who would win? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I probably would because I'd be the only normal guy. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Fat Mike, uh, Brent from Mastodon, oh, that'd be and <laughs> and uh, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> um, uh, James from Against Me because it's funny. <laughs> so, uh, if you guys could choose like a dream world tour with three different bands, which bands would you pick and where would you like to play? Are there like some places you haven't played yet where you would like to play in the future? I want to play with Soundgarden. Uh, they're they're going to be doing a reunion yeah. tour next year, so that would be amazing to play with them. Yeah, it would be awesome to play with uh, Rage Against Machine too, when they were doing their their reunion tours. But um. We just toured with Against Me in Canada, and that was a lot of fun. So I'd love to tour with those guys again. And it would be fun to tour with Muse. I met them a couple of times. They seem like nice nice guys and really like their music. So that'd be fun. So uh, if you would uh, look in the crystal ball, where would you see the band five years from now? 
really hard ones if you have been playing already for 17 years? Uh, probably headlining uh, at Bruce Rock, maybe. I don't know, on the okay. same same stage. <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, I don't know, yeah, I could see in five years' time, probably maybe working on another record or something. Yeah, this festival happens every every year at the same time, so it was five years from now then. It, it's a great festival. We played here in 2007, and, and we're excited to play again. So uh, the CD sales have dropped pretty much like during the past couple of years. How do you see the future of like music itself and recording in industry in general? I don't know, man. It's tough. Uh, uh, I think the major labels will still probably control things. They're just they're they're gonna find different ways to make money off of bands. They have all their infrastructure in place, and they know how the music business operates, so they'll be still around. But I don't think there's gonna be CDs. Eventually, they're just gonna there's not gonna be CDs. Everything will be digital and online. I'm sure it has to be. Like, what what's the point? You know, there might be little boutique places you could get CDs made, but I don't see it as a uh, um, anything beyond like maybe what record collections are now, you know, for people. So uh, what what kind of future plans do you guys have? What will happen after these European dates? Uh, we, we're we going to be going home for a month, uh, or not even a month, no, a couple weeks, and then we come back and uh, we're playing South Africa and a, four, a few more uh, European festivals in Germany. And uh, then we go to do Reading and Leeds, and then uh, we're done. Uh, we'll be done touring this album in September. So starting writing material for your next album. Yeah, when we we're, we're going to take some time off first, and then uh, and then start writing for the next ro- record. So will the next album be out in the beginning of 2011, or maybe midsummer 2011? Probably not. No, probably like later in the year, yeah. or maybe 2012. Okay. Yeah take all the time you need to write the new material yet first it tend to take a long time to write but um, it's important to go back home and you know take some time for your personal life as well yeah. and we haven't had a chance to do that really so yeah and I think now that we've been around for a, a while internationally and, and we've earned the the right to kind of just yeah. take take yeah. it at our pace and make sure it's it's gonna be awesome because yeah. we don't want to be rushed Well, thank you really much for both of you for doing this with us, and good luck for tonight's show. Uh, anything you want to say as a closer to your European fans? Uh, no, thank you for being our European fans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy Rusarok in Finland. Yeah. We love it here. Thank you really much. Cheers. Cool. Thank you.